Hi folks and welcome to my little bar at home. If it's your first time coming by then pleased to meet you. If you've been here before then pull up a chair and sit down because you're an old local. Right, today we're in for a real treat because we've got the Adnams ghost ship on the Philips Perfect Draft. Well then folks, this is one of my absolute favourites and here it is, Adnams ghost ship on the Perfect Draft. Right, I've had one of these kegs before, I can't lie to you, I've had one and it's absolutely superb. We had it over Christmas, we're all set to do a video, we had some friends come round and the keg which just went, it had disappeared. I ordered another one for my birthday which was last week, um, put it into the machine, had a little sip, thought my goodness that's superb. Popped it in there, left it in there and we had to go away for a few days. Went away for a few days, came back off holiday and there's about three pints missing, maybe a couple more. So I'm thinking my son, who stayed at home to look after the cats, might have had a little snifter. But by the by, we'll pop this in the machine now and we'll give it a taste test on camera and I'll give you my thoughts. Now, if you haven't put one of these in before, it's quite simple to do. You just thread your beer line through the top there and then this clips on here. I have done plenty of videos on these before. I'll put a link in the description to them and then give it a bang down. You can push it down and get two clicks, but if you give it a bit of a bang, it sits in there perfectly. Now, we put it in the machine. Squeaky doors, could do with a bit of oil on there. Push that up and that up, and then that sits together. Then we just put our drip tray underneath like so. So that's all there. And it says eight degrees. It's just pressurizing the keg back up now. It says eight degrees, but it's not eight degrees. It's probably down to three or four degrees now. Right, that's pressurized up. We can pour. There you go. That's how it pours out. No bother. Just there's always a little bit of a, a rush when it's first gone in. So I um, make sure we pour a little bit off. Now I've got some glasses somewhere. Adnams glasses. How about that? All the gear and no idea. Right, Adnams glasses. There we go. Got Adnams round on the bottom. I bought these as a as a set. You got the keg and a couple of glasses and they're great and they're nucleated glasses i don't know if you can see but there's some circles on the bottom there um, those circles they trap the gas in there and they give it a bit of a head you can see from that little bit that's just come out it's got a head oh my goodness i love this i love this stuff it's got a head and the, the head stays on quite well so with the the nucleated bit the little circles in the bottom it will really really work well it should stay to the bottom of the glass um, a quick word about the beer I think it's about four and a half percent um and it's an ipa now i'm not a great fan of ipas um i, I prefer bitter if i'm being honest when i talk about beer I prefer bitter proper drinking bitter beer um i've got the perfect draft system it's got lager on it and when it's nice and sunny and warm my goodness i love a lager an ice cold lager it's beautiful sitting outside in the sunshine ice cold lager absolutely fantastic when it's a bit colder like now I like something a bit more beer like they bought out this adnams i never got to try it i used to love adnams broadside when it was in cask my goodness that was a great beer i used to have that all the time bottles was good but not so great and then when they bought this stuff out i thought right i'll definitely give it a go so oh I told you it was going down look it's four degrees we'll give it a bit of a pour and we'll have a look i've already sniffed it so i'll have to do do that again uh, Again, when the noise stops. That's just a little compressor in the back and every time you're taking some out, there's a bag in the keg and every time you take some out, it's pushing in air and squeezing that bag so it squeezes the beer out. Now, that's pretty good. I'm gonna be cheeky. I'm gonna move one of those Adnams ones out of the way and I'm gonna put a tulip one underneath. Now. These tulip glasses are probably my favourite drinking glasses, these beer ones, because the machine seems to pour well into them. And when I was younger, back in the day, a lot of beer, if you drank cask beer, it came in tulip glasses like these. And because I lived in the Midlands, we had Banksy's pubs and their glasses were a third oversized. So a pint measure was to about there. So every pint you had had got a head on it like that. So you had a nice, thick, foamy, frothy head that stayed with the beer all the way to the bottom, right? Now, 
they did away with those because they're losing too much stock and stuff because people were asking to be filled up. So then you get a pint glass and they fill your pint glass to the top. And if you go in some pubs, they fill it completely flat and it's it's unappealing to me. Whereas with these, you can leave a little bit of a head on. I do, you know, that's a bit too much in it. If I was paying for that in a pub, I wouldn't be very happy. If I was a, a publican running a pub and people were accepting pints like that, I think I'd be more than happy. I'd be quidsing, wouldn't I? But we'll just fill it up. So that's that one full, filled. Now, demonstrating two glasses, I'm gonna have to drink two pints on as a minimum this evening. And it is a school night, so I've got to take it steady. But there you go. You can see with this glass how this works. Look, it's nucleated, there's fizz coming up through there constantly, right? It's great, isn't it? And it gives you a bit of a, a, an ice cream topping on there because it's, as it's lifting up through the glass, it's keeping the head on and it's going up now. I've got a little straw over here, look. And I can just take that off, run that down, fill it up. There you go. Right, I'll put that one on there. And that one there now that looks good <laughs> it looks good and oh my goodness me it smells good and i think when you've got a head on the beer like that and the bubbles on top and they're popping it does release some more of the sort of smell and and flavor in there right that's really nice now i'm not really into these tasting notes i like beer i like beer flavored beer <laughs> that's how it is with all this you know all mangoes and grapefruit and whatever it's not really my thing beer flavored beer an ipa has been around for a long time and it does have a citrusy flavor and they try to sort of promote that now and they put a bit more citrus into these things but this one is still quite sort of traditional shall we say my goodness, yeah, you can smell it. It's like, you used, to, you used to really sort of get these things when you were at beer festivals, you had like loads of different ales and they'd have like a few IPAs on and you'd get one and you'd go through the selection, work your way through the kegs and you, you'd be all the casks working your way along and you get to an IPA and everybody would be there sniffing it because it was such a, it was a fruity aroma, you didn't get it very often. And then you go back onto the normal ales and it was back to sort of the mundane, you know, back to bitter and just beer tasting, but they're, they're, they're a nice break in the middle, something a bit different, right? And while I've been waffling on, look, pick the glass up a dozen times. We've still got the head on there. It hasn't really gone anywhere, so. That's it. And then another note on these, it's saying four degrees on there. It's three or four degrees. It's a little bit cold, I think, for an IPA. Um, you may want to invest in the Pro machine. I'm toying with the idea at the moment. More ales and beers come out on these machines, then I should think I'll definitely be getting a Pro. Otherwise, with things like this, you can leave the keg out of the machine for a couple of hours just to warm up a little bit and then pop it back in and serve it so you don't get it too cold. But anyway enough waffling on let's have a taste of this smells fantastic and the taste oh that's nice that's nice that's a beer flavored beer there is a grapefruit flavor in there there is a citrus flavor but it's beer flavor essentially beer and it it tastes good you've got a a better taste than the lagers, you know, it's like the, there's, there's something there. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. We benefit from being a little bit warmer um, in the three or four degrees we've got. But as you can see, it lacing down the glass. That's how it's supposed to be. And these Adnams glasses, there's nothing really special about them. They're just nucleated glasses, they've got Adnams on, it's nice isn't it sometimes I think to have the glass, have the, the merch that goes with it, a bar runner and, and whatever else, I've got loads of things from loads of different breweries, but to try and sort of match everything up, when you've got some pals around you say oh I've got Adnams, we can have an Adnams glass look, and um, sometimes you're drinking with your eyes, you know, you, you're looking at this and you've got an Adnams glass, Adnams beer, nice head on there, and you're already thinking it's a nice drop before you're even into it, right, I'll have another sip, Oh. oh yeah, half a pint down, look, that's beautiful, really, really good, um, I like it, and 
you know what the more you talk about the grapefruit the more you can taste it <laughs> the more you can taste it the first keg i had of this i'm sure there wasn't it didn't taste as citrusy as this one but it's really nice it's really refreshing and it, it is it is beer but with a slight twist you know it, it's really uh well it's very moorish i'll have another quick one Oh yeah, definitely. I'm enjoying that. I'm gonna put a little head back on that one. And I'll drink that when the camera's off, probably a bit quicker than this. But I would like to say, oh yeah, it's dropped down to three degrees. I would like to say, other than taking the keg out to warm them up a bit, you can pour them beforehand. So you pour a beer or pour it sort of two thirds up the glass and then you can just top it up. I mean, as you can see, I've topped that one up. And it looks fantastic doesn't it but there's not the bubbles coming up through that like there is in this glass when we hold this glass up there's still the bubbles there look you can see them coming through and that one has got a lot less carbonation in it than this one so there you go correct glass correct drink and that's how it should be so there you go i'm happy with that <laughs> there's not much else to say is there adnams ghost ship four and a half percent um, plenty of citrus flavours, plenty of grapefruit flavours, but essentially a lot of beer flavour. Um, and that's what all, I'm all about really. Ice cold drink in the summer, superb, sit there, sip, sip lager all day long. But something in the winter time a little bit more flavoursome. And that's exactly what you've got here. So there you go. Um, if you want to see any more different kegs on this, uh, on this system then just give me a shout in the comments below give me a thumbs up as well if you can please and subscribe that would be absolutely great um, anything nice to say pop that in the comments as well there'll be links to other videos i think we've got a link to amazon as well where you can buy the machine link to perfect draft where you can purchase it as well and you get sort of beer tokens and all sorts of things with them but from now i think that's about me done i'm going to finish this one finish that one and uh, well we might sneak another one in as well Cheers anyway, I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.